Good morning, everyone. It's a new week at the Hyatt House, and we are taking on a new project. Um, we are in the wooden room right now, and we are about to go to Lowe's and do some shopping. Um, a couple of things. One, do you remember there was a vent here for an old oven? Um, that is gone. We started patching with this wood, but it's just not going to work. We need this old wood, especially because that's a super visible part of the room. Um, so we're going to steal it from back here. We're going to cut that out. And then I don't know how I'm going to cover that up. Maybe do a bookcase or something later. We're also going to rob that um, beaded wood as well because we've got some places that need to be patched. Um, and then we're going to go on a hunt because this chair rail cap is nothing special. And um, we've got to look for something there. We've got to look for something to do some type of crown and then also some corner pieces. So we're gonna head to Lowe's and see what we can find. Um, across the way, I'm gonna be an acrobat for a second. Um, in the wallpaper room, we've got um, this piece that goes all the way around. It's just missing on that wall. Then there's a little trim piece like a cove piece underneath. So we're probably gonna pull that little piece of cove because that's all we have off and then replace that. So let's all go to Lowe's and see what we can find. As promised, we are in Lowe's. We are over in the trim section and we are debating what to do. So um, the first thing we found is for our corners. We're gonna do this little cove piece in the corners of the wooden room. Um, we picked out a crown. There's no crown anywhere else in that house because that house would not have cred crown. We've got to do something where the ceiling meets the walls because it's pretty gnarly. Um, so we picked out some crown. Now we're talking about the chair rail in both the wooden room and the wallpaper room. We're probably going to rip down a two before. And then um, what's there now is a little piece of cove trim. But this cove is too big and the next size down is too small. So I think we're gonna use this little profile here under that trim. So our next debate is what are we gonna do on the chair rail? These guys are working up a prototype. I like that. For the chair rail in the wood room? Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, should that be a little thicker though? Like, should that be like an actual, yeah, or a shelf board or something? I like it though. I like that. All right, this is what we got to go under the, under in that room. Okay, I definitely like it for the wallpaper. I say we do the same in both rooms, but I think I'd like that to be just a little bit thicker. Maybe we just get shelf boards and rip them down or any kind of one by. Like a one by four, right? What is that, a two? Well, obviously we wouldn't have that yeah, flat on the back. Have, uh, it's, it's got yeah. A half inch, so we yeah. Like three, at least a three quarter. A three quarter, yeah. yeah. All right. Quarter, so we're putting our heads together in Lowe's and coming up with some plans. Now we are over to the primed pine boards. Um, all right, you remember way back in the day when we were trying to squeeze that powder room into the laundry room and we had to shift the door in the wood room over just a little bit. Um, so the way that we are covering up the fact that we shifted that door is we're going to make the, um, the door casing around that door going into the laundry a little bit bigger. So we're picking up some one by eights to do that. They're going to be a little bit bigger than the rest of the house. Um, they're going to be like a true six inches where the rest are more like four and three quarters, but I don't think anyone's ever going to notice. Um, and now we've got to figure out what we want for that chair rail. All right, prototypes right here in. And set it back just a little bit. What do you think? I don't know. I like it a lot, but is it too fancy for that room? I don't think so. You don't think so? All right, let's try it. All right, so we figured out if we get a one by six, we can rip it down in half, which will give us um, a little bit more than a two inch cap on the top of that chair rail. And then we'll put that little crown piece or trim piece underneath it. So, um, 
think we are making progress here, figuring it out. We're gonna get a cartload of lumber. Okay, we had a successful trip to Lowe's. We got a truckload of lumber. Now we're gonna head back to the Hyatt house and put it on the walls. We have banging in stereo. We've got hammering happening in the office and also on the second floor. Um, I think the electricians are working up there. So let's go see what's going on. All right, so we are up here on the third floor. Um, we had a little predicament. Um, you know, this floor, the ceiling is only seven foot and of course we're recessing all of our lights, but we have a smoke detector that's low. So we've been debating where we we're gonna put the smoke detector finally decided we're gonna put it in the sink. Um, and then we're trying to figure out lighting for the stairs and how do we get lighting so all the stairs are well lit. And where are the switches so that you can turn them on anywhere you go. Um, so that's what we're working on right now. The electrical plan puzzle. So, we're still doing puzzlements here. We have finally figured out where we're gonna put our electrical panel, which is right here in the mudroom. Um, and that caused some change in plans um, in the office, but I think we've actually come up with a better plan now. Um, all right, we've got a patch wood right here. We were gonna take that wood from behind that door and probably cover it up with a bookcase. But then the door was not gonna open all the way. So now we're gonna steal the wood from over here, move the bookcase over here, and then that's gonna let us open that wall up so that we can access the inside of the wall for our electrical panel. So today we're trying to figure out if we're gonna sand these walls. There's a little bit of paint that's been slopped up on there. So I don't wanna lose this patina in here, but it's also, it's a bit rough. So we're gonna sand a little bit, see how it looks. As you probably can tell, we decided we are going to sand the walls. Um, right now, we're just lightly sanding them, getting the dirt and 237 years worth of dust off them. And then we'll decide if we need to sand them deeper, if we're going to stain them. We need all the facts before we make a decision. So while the guys are sanding and cleaning and figuring out what we're doing in the wooden room, um, Javier is out here priming all this on the back. This looks great. Inside the wallpaper room is the wallpaper room no more. There is the last of that lumber that was on those walls. So we are now ready for sheetrock in here. So we are fast at work. Um, we are in what remains of the wallpaper room and um, the guys are making this little lip. So over here is, is the original, and here's where they've mimicked it. Um, if you remember, there was a little bit of a trim down there underneath. We're gonna take all that off because it was missing in a lot of places. So we'll do a new trim under that new cap. This is looking really good once we prime and paint all this. I don't think you'll know the difference between the old and the new. Across the way, we um, did what we said we were going to do, which is we robbed this wood right here and it's patched over there and it looks great. Um, we got all of these walls sanded and now he's working on the ceiling. Um, we just lightly sanded. We got, remember there was kind of paint slapped around. So we'll decide if we want to sand them again, if we want to stain them, we don't know. But that is patched, that looks very good. Um, and then what we're gonna do is build some type of bookcase or something here to cover up this. Um, we have one problem. We remember we were gonna put our electrical panel in this wall on the other side, but I'm not sure that this wall is thick enough. Everything in this house is oversized except for this one wall. So we may have to find somewhere new for the electrical panel, but at least we have solved this challenge. Meanwhile, outside, we got all of this addition primed and now we've actually got some of our wall color going on. It seems like 
years ago that I was putting multiple shades of green on this house to figure out the right color, but um, we locked in with ancient marble and I still love it. Hey y'all, it's another day and we're busy, busy, still getting lots done. Let's go inside. We are still working in the wallpaper room and the wooden room. All right, this room is finished. Um, so we ripped down that two by four to match the existing. And then we added that little trim piece underneath. Um, this was already running down. So by the time we caulk this and paint this, it's gonna look great. No one's ever gonna know that we had to patch and replace. So across the way, if you remember when we went to Lowe's, we picked up these primed boards that we were gonna use here, but they're just too small. They look dinky. Um, so we're actually gonna go with the rip down two before, like we did in the other room in here as well. But we're gonna do a little bit more of a ledge, like kind of like you see here, like a two and a half inch ledge, two and a half inch ledge. So um, people can almost use it like a picture rail kind of thing. Um, and then we'll put that trim piece underneath. Yep, I like it. Perfect. Um, so we will apply that to the wooden room, just like we did in the wallpaper room. All right, folks, that's a wrap. That is another week at the Hyatt house. We got a lot done. Um, it's exciting to finally see details happening. Um, details in the floor plan, details in the electrical plan, details in the wood trim. So it's exciting. So in many ways, I have a schedule in mind. I know what's coming next. And then in other ways, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna find and what needs to be done next. So come back next week and who knows what we'll be tackling. Maybe we're still working on trim or maybe we're working on some big picture thing. We've gotta do the roof eventually. So come back soon and see what's happening at the Hyatt House.